Hey everyone, it's Zinnia here from Octo Studio, and today I wanted to show you part two of how to make a clicker game on the phone. So in this part, I'll show you how to make the player be able to buy items from the shop, and how to make those items give the player more points in the game. So yeah, let's get started. So in the last part of this series, we got to this point in our game where you can click an item for points, and we designed what the shop looks like. Now, let's make it so that the player can buy items from the shop, and those items will start giving the player automatic points as they click and play the game. So to get started, we have this spoon button in the shop, and we want the player to be able to tap on this button to buy it. So I'll go to the when to start category and drag out a when I tap block. And when they tap on the spoon to buy it, well, we could have it play like a purchase sound. So to do that, I'll drag out a play sound block and attach it under there. And so now when we tap on the spoon button, it plays a sound. Also, since the spoon costs 10 points, we should take away 10 points from the player when they click on it to buy it. So to do that, I'll go to the more blocks category and I'll drag out a change variable block. And I will say change variable score by negative 10. And so now when I tap on the spoon, it charges me 10 points. Um, now, one problem with this is it still lets me buy a spoon even if I don't have enough points to buy it. Like right now I have zero points, but I can still buy a spoon and I just go into debt. So instead of having that, let's make it so that the player can only buy a spoon if they have 10 points. And since we want it to do something only if a certain thing is true, we can go to the control category and drag out an if block. And we can say, if the score is greater than 10, then let the player buy the spoon. And if the player doesn't have enough points, how about we tap on this plus sign to add an else, and we can just have a speech bubble and say to the player, not enough points to let them know they can't buy it yet. So if I don't have enough points to buy it, I tap on it and it just says not enough points. And if I do have 10 points, let's try that out. So I get to 10 and then I tap on it and it still says not enough points. And so why is that happening? Um, and actually the problem is this thing is waiting for us to have more than 10 points, but it's actually enough if we just have 10 points. So instead of saying if score greater than 10, we could say if the score is greater than or equal to 10. So now I'll try to buy it and there we go. Now I can buy the spoon once I have 10 points. So we're almost ready to go to the next step. One thing I'm gonna add really quickly before we do is I'm going to make this button be grayed out when the player can't buy it because I think that'll add a nice little decoration to the game. And the way you can do that is if you go to the scene category and drag out a show block, show 100% just makes a sprite show up normally. But if you drag out another show block and tap on this number 100 and then drag this slider, you can make a sprite look kind of grayed out or transparent. So I'll pick something in the middle and then you know if I tap that, and then it makes the sprite look faded. So what I will do is I will say, if the score is greater than or equal to 10, you know, the cost of the spoon, then you know, show it normally. Otherwise, show it grayed out. And if I put this inside a forever loop and make it happen when the game starts, now, Whenever I'm playing the game, if I don't have enough points to buy the spoon, it'll be all grayed out. But then as soon as I get enough points to buy it, it brightens up and it appears. Okay, so we have step one where the player can buy as many spoons as they want. Uh, but let's add step two where the spoon actually benefits the player once they bought it. Cause right now the spoons don't do anything. Let's make it so that once the player buys a spoon, they start getting automatic points every second. So it's like, once you buy more and more spoons, you don't even have to click as much cause you're just automatically getting points. So how can we do that? Well, let's make a new variable. I'll go to the more blocks category and drag out a set variable block. And I'll make a new variable and call it auto points. And when the game starts, we can have auto points be zero. Like the player isn't getting any automatic points when they just start out, they just have to click. But when they buy a spoon, we can make auto points go up. So how about when they buy a spoon, we can change auto points by one. So let's try that out. I can buy a spoon and now my auto points has gone up to one. But if you'll notice, I'm just leaving my game here. And now my score should be going up by one every second, but it's not, I'm, my score is still zero. So how can we make it so that auto points gets added to the player's score every second? Well, how about this? I'm gonna go over to the cupcake and let's try and say forever, wait one second 
and then change score by one. So I'll try that out. So now I am gaining a point every second, but now one problem with this is, let's say I buy another spoon, now my auto points is two, so I should be getting two points every second, not just one. So how about instead of forever changing this variable score by one, we can change the variable score by whatever auto points is at that moment. So if auto points is two, I'll get two points every second. If auto points is five, I'll get five points every second. If you play for hours and hours and auto points is a thousand, you'll get a thousand points every second. So let's try that out. And to do that, I can just go through the more blocks category and get this sort of oval shaped variable block. And I can choose auto points as the variable. And now if I just put this block in here, now it will change the variable score by whatever auto points is. So, well, my score got really high. Uh, I'll start a new game, and so I will get a spoon. So now auto points is one, I'm getting a free point every second. Now if I buy another spoon, auto points is two, and as you see, I'm getting two points every second. So that is how I want it. Also, one thing to mention is if you want to make the game more challenging, you can make the spoon only give the player a little bit more of auto points. So let's say one spoon only increases auto points by 0.1. Now, you know, you can buy a spoon, but each spoon won't help you that much. You know, it's, you still have to buy a lot of spoons to be really be able to get a lot of auto points. And one last thing to mention as you go off making your games is if you want to add another item to the shop, all you have to do is make another button like you made the spoon button, decide what you want the cost to be, and then everywhere where you said, you know, 10 for the spoon, just replace that with the cost of this item. So if it costs 100, then you want to replace all these 10s with 100, and this is, this should be negative 100, and also you want 100 here. And then you just have to decide how much you want to increase auto points by when the player buys this item. So I'll have this coffee cup increase auto points by 1.2. So that's all you have to do to add another item to the shop. So yeah, that's what I wanted to show you today. Uh, I hope you have fun making your own clicker games. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.